This is Pastor Tom Battle with the Lord's Glory Church in Humble, Texas. And as you already know, we've been through a very devastating storm here with Hurricane Harvey. And we just wanted to encourage you. Uh, uh, and I know this has been something that's been hard on our area. We've been living in this area for 45 years and we've been through some storms, but uh, never anything that re has reached this level of devastation and destruction. But you know, uh, we can come together as a community and uh, get through this. And we just wanted to let you know what we're doing as a church. We've implemented a, a Hurricane Harvey relief plan, a seven point plan that uh, here at the Lord's Glory Church. And I just wanted to share this, take a few minutes to share this plan with you. Uh, first of all, if you need, uh, well, let me just say this. Uh, there's a great food shortage in the Houston area. And also there are many families that are in a budget crisis uh, because of missed paychecks. And this may be a continuing problem for a while because uh, so much of our city is underwater that it's going to take a while for many businesses and places of employment to open back up. So there are going to be a lot of families in our area that are not getting paychecks. So that is also a problem. And then, of course, we thank God that in our church we only had a few families that got water in their houses. But throughout the community, of course, there's many thousands of flooded homes, and there's a lot of need there as well. And uh, so we have church members here at the Lord's Glory Church that need help, and we also have members of our church that want to help. And I just wanted to go over with you a seven-point plan that we are implementing here at the Lord's Glory Church to help with this catastrophe that has hit our area. First of all, if you need food, you can come to this Sunday morning service and we will have food here available for you. And if you have extra food and you want to bring it to help others that need food, you're welcome to bring that food to the service this Sunday morning and the service begins at 1030. So if you're bringing food, please try to get here, say 930, 10 o'clock and we're gonna have people in place. Now already, we have collected quite a bit of food and we're getting it all sorted. We have clothing, and if you have extra clothing, you can bring that as well. We have blankets, we have uh, baby diapers, we have cleaning supplies, personal hygiene products, and all of this uh, we are getting in place even today. And you, Brandon, you might wanna pan. Let's, let's just walk along here and you can see some of the things we're doing already if you wanna follow me and over here we've got some where we're sorting clothes and here's some of our uh, members that have been helping with this and you can see how they have the the clothes uh, sorted and there's blankets uh, over there and we have dresses we have uh, shirts blouses uh, all uh, pillars uh, we have, you might say that we've got shoes that people have brought. And uh, all this is just the beginning of getting these supplies in order for uh, distribution. And then, of course, over here we have more clothes. And uh, you can see these are members of our church that are helping with this. And we thank God uh, for all of you. Amen. They're the quietest. They're the quietest uh, they have been <laughs> all day because they know this is going out live on Facebook. They, so now it, they got real quiet all of a sudden. Yeah, that's right. But they, have, they have been working so hard. We've got members here that are working very hard to uh, get all this in place in order to help our community. Amen. If you come in here, you'll see uh, in here we have uh, we're beginning to get the food sorted and laid out for distribution, which we're going to begin regular services here at the church Sunday morning. The uh, first, the uh, main service at 10:30. So try to get here before 10:30. And if you're bringing supplies to give to others that you want to help others with, try to get here by 9:30 or 10 because we're having to sort all this and get it in place. Here's a mother with her baby that's come to help and. We just uh, know a family from our church here. Her husband is in there. We just 
past him. But anyway, it's all fitting together. We have, as you can see, we're getting paper products together here. You see toilet tissue, paper towels. We've got uh, people that brought in toothpaste, uh, toothbrushes, uh, uh, all kinds of items that people need in an emergency and a catastrophe type situation that we've experienced uh, here in the greater Houston area and beyond. Uh, coming this way, well, here's some of our church offices. That's my office in there. It's kind of a mess right now, but this is uh, our associate pastor's office. We've had it's a to mess. move some chairs in there to make room for other stuff. This is what is normally our bookstore in here. Here's one of our members, Tommy Hurt. Tommy, you're on Facebook Live right now if you want to come out here and just greet the people. This is Tommy How Hurt, and he's one of our members. We did have a few minor leaks at the church, but we thank God no water got inside. We're praying for those churches that did get water inside. They'll be able to get back up and going soon. Uh, we had a few minor roof leaks, uh, like Tommy just finished replacing these ceiling tiles right here. But you can see on this table we're getting our baby supplies together, baby food and stuff. We also have pampers, uh, diapers, uh, baby wipes. Uh, you might see all, all kinds of stuff like this that we're going to be giving out, start giving out Sunday. Now we're looking on this as an ongoing project. This is not just something that we're going to be doing Sunday. This has been devastating to our area. People are going to be, a lot of people will be out of work for quite some time. They're going to need help with their uh, budget, family budgets, and uh, we're going to try to help there too as much as we possibly can. Those that have a uh, household bills that are pressing them, we're going to do our very best to help uh, cover those bills as long as we have funds. We'll have to cover our membership first, but, but uh, we're going to do the very best we can to help people with bills. But also, uh, handing out food like this will mean it can, people can use money that they would have been using for groceries. They can use that for their other bills that they have to pay. So. Uh, of course, we're just one church of many churches in the area that are uh, pitching in to help uh, those that have been in the pathway of Hurricane Harvey. So uh, you can see this. We got a table out here in the hallway, even with toys. We're collecting toys for, uh, and you can see some of the toys we're collecting for uh, children. And this is just the beginning of what we're receiving. So. We have had been having to do a little replacing a few ceiling tiles, and that's what this all is all about here. Uh, this is one of our our children's classrooms in here, and it's kind of in a little bit of a state of disarray, but had to move some stuff around to bring in supplies and so forth. Uh, we have uh, free books available that we give out every service. These are some books that I've written. I, I thank God for them, and I give God the glory for them. This is my latest little book. It's called Love is the Greatest. And here's another one called Love Power. I really <laughs> like that one. Here's one that's become real popular, The Healing Leaf. Jesus is our healing leaf. That's Amen. Right. Amen. Let's just walk down here, Brandon, and uh, I want to share just a few more things. Uh, So here's what we're doing. If you have personal hygiene items and cleaning supplies, uh, please bring them, and we can get those to people that need them. But uh, also, if you need those items, we're going to have them here for those that need them. And uh, if you need cleanup and repair of a flooded home, please come to the Lord's Glory Church this Sunday morning so that we can match you up with volunteers who can help you get your home cleaned up and repaired. We're going to do the best we can to get volunteers together to help those that got whose homes were flood damaged. Uh, if you need to charge your electronic devices, uh, you can bring them. We're going to have, uh, Brandon, help me with Surge protectors. Surge protectors set up where you can plug your iPhones in and electronic devices to recharge them 
uh, while you're recharging your spirit with worship and with prayer and with the Word of God. Yeah. And we're all together uh, in, in the body of Christ with this. Uh, we're going to do, uh, w let's come together in the spirit of Acts 4.32. I'm going to read Acts 4.32. Now the multitude of those who believed were of one heart and one soul. Neither did anyone say that any of the things he possessed was his own, but they had all things in common. So we're coming together in the spirit of Acts 4.32. So uh, this Sunday, uh, you can come want to help, and if you need help, you're going to receive help. So uh, that's what it's all about. That's, that's what makes the body of Christ so wonderful. Also, uh, we have been in touch with Ham. We're covenant partners with Ham. And, uh, that's the Humble Area Assistant Ministries, and we're going to be networking with them to help our community. We are turning our youth building over to Ham, and they're going to be bringing in food there uh, this afternoon. They've got truckloads of food coming in, and they're going to put it in our youth building and use it. Uh, I believe they're also going to probably use it as a distribution point, and they'll be putting out information on that. So we'll be networking with Ham, a wonderful organization. Uh, in our area that does so much to reach out to the community. And I believe I've covered, uh, uh, you know, if you can, uh, when you come, if you want to help people, uh, one of the main, main needs is going to be budget shortfalls. So if you come, if you can bring an over and above tithe offering to help there, we're going to help people with their budget shortfalls uh, as much as we have funds to do so. Now, if you need help with a household bill, you need to bring that bill with you. We can't help you unless you bring the bill with you, and we'll do the best we can. This storm has been devastating, but it's an opportunity for the body of Christ to come together uh, to bring hope to the hurting. Our vision as a church is to find purpose in life through loving God and loving people. And I, I believe that as we venture out together with this vision, uh, May we, I, I believe that we're all going to be able to look back one day and say that we found purpose in the midst of this tragedy. And just wanted to share this with you, let you know what we're doing as a church. We're looking on this as a long-term project. This is not just something we're going to be doing this Sunday. Uh, we're going to be offering assistance and taking in uh, however you want to help us to assist others. We're going to provide an avenue for you to help others as well. And this is going to be an ongoing project of the church, not just this Sunday morning, but we also have a Sunday evening prayer service at 6 o'clock. We have a Wednesday night service at 7 p.m. Uh, that's All of these are live on the uh, stream live, uh, online on Facebook Live, at our website, glorychurch.com. And by the way, let me mention that. Our website is glorychurch.com. And if you go there... You can find a map on how to get here, service times, information on the church, everything you need to know to connect up with us. That's glorychurch.com. Again, we are the Lord's Glory Church. We're situated uh, in Humble, in the older part of Humble, uh, not too far from the post office, but there's a map that will give you directions on how to get here. We're easy to find. We're on Artesian Plaza Drive. And we hope you can come out this Sunday, be a part of this vision that we have to find purpose in life through loving God and loving people. And while this has been a, a tragedy for our area, it is also an opportunity for the body of Christ to display to our community the love of Jesus and to come together. There's so much nowadays that's wanting to separate folks. It's wanting to separate folks according to race, politics, and you, you know, whatever, you know. But Jesus brings people together. And I believe that this storm, one of the good things that's coming out of this is God is using this to bring people together and especially the body of Christ to come together in order to reach out to our community and to show them what Jesus is all about, that's what right. his love is all about. And, and so what a, a beautiful opportunity we have here. And so God bless you and we would love for you to be a part of this and a part of our vision. And again, I believe that one day we're going to look back on this tragedy and, and we're, going to, uh, we're going to be able to say, say that we found purpose in the midst of tragedy. God bless you. Thank you for being with us.
We love you.